Okay, I'm walking up on a wash tub in my back room. And I have my preparation pouch in it with water. Uh, basically, I've got two cups of scent free Arm & Hammer detergent, laundry detergent. And you can kind of see how dark that water is. I've already rinsed this water one time and filled it up with water again, just enough to cover. And these are my prep pouches. So these are pouches that I'm going to wash because now I need to use them for installing cameras in trees. So when I go up on my stick with aiders up 14 feet, I've got my cameras and my solar panels in these pouches. So this is basically a safety pouch, a prep pouch, uh, and I'm basically washing it so it's going to be scent free when I'm putting cameras because I'm going to be wearing scent lock this time of year or pre-season to put the cameras up. So I'm washing the rope. You know, it's got the same exact type of rope you'd have on a saddle. It's 11 millimeter rope. It's got a rope man on it. So this actually, this prep pouch goes around the tree just like your lineman rope does on a saddle. But it has pouches on both sides, work pouches for prepping locations. But I also use it for installing my cameras. Now I'm going to drain this water again for the second time so I'm going to be filling it with uh, my third time with water and you can see because I use this for location preparation in the spring and putting spikes in it and it gets bark in it and it gets all kinds of stuff because I'm cutting bark and stuff as I'm going up the trees you can see how dirty this water is you can see how dirty and this is the second time the first time it was a lot dirtier than this so these get a these prep pouches get a lot of abuse uh, Noah, the Amish guy, makes them, uh, and they're absolutely awesome for prepping locations in the spring as well as putting up cameras in the fall because if you want to be scent free, the cameras are going to go in the pouches and everything's going to be scent free along with my scent lock. So I'm not leaving any odor and ruining a possible destination hunting location and I want to make sure I'm accessing those destination locations as scent free as possible to put cameras up so I'm going to be wearing scent lock everything is going to be scent free also wash the aiders on the sticks my uh, one stick uh, with aiders on the bottom I also wash that uh, the aiders on that as well just like I do prior to season with all my aiders on all my sticks so I just rinsed that water out uh, so this is the same type of scent-free detergent you'd buy in this sporting goods store, except here you're getting 1.17 gallon for less than $10, whereas if you buy it in a sporting goods store, you're probably going to get 16 ounces for $10. And there's another one. All the brands make it. Tide, Purex, this one's all 100% free of perfumes and dyes. So there's no scents in here to make stuff smell fresh. It's all hypoallergenic stuff for people with allergies. I'm going to fill this water one more time and then I'll just rinse it out after it's through the third cycle I'll just rinse it out the best I can and then hang it outside to dry for several days before I put out my cameras because my cameras and, and solar panels will fit in these pouches I'm very liberal with the soap and I'm going to fill the water just above the pouches just so it just covers them all up and this is again this is going to be the third time these pouches and this belt is very heavy the belt is very heavy fabric 9,000 pound test um, and anytime you're using heavy fabric it needs to soak in scent free detergent for a long time same with those ropes it takes a long time for that soap to get all that odor out deep inside the fabric or inside the rope so um, you gotta let it sit for a long time and this is again this is my third wash cycle for this pouch for this fall i won't do it again this fall but um, after after next spring and i get it all dirty again when i'm prepping prepping locations using these pouches uh next fall i'll wash it again before i use it for setting cameras okay i just hung up my washed three times in uh, scent free detergent uh, location preparation pouches which I'm also going to use for 
setting up my cell cameras. I'll probably do this again in the morning. And I'm gonna let this hang probably several days to totally dry out. And this is, we got them hanging on the ladder that I used to climb up on my roof to shoot my bow. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see it or not, I got a target right there, that's my short, that's my chip shot distance target. And now I'm rinsing them out outside. So these pouches have plenty of room for cameras and solar panels and batteries or whatever I need. And I'll leave them out here a few days to dry out before I use them. Well, I washed my aiders on my one stick, so I'm going out to put up some cameras. And I'm using a one stick with double aiders. And I did a video showing me washing my prep pouches. Now these are prep pouches that Noah makes, or Noah can make. This is my original, but he makes them that look similar to this. He doesn't use a pink pink rope though. He uses a camel rope. What I'll do is I'll put my cameras and my solar panels in these pouches and then this is basically a lineman rope. This goes around the tree, hooks to this other D-ring with the uh, carabiner and for climbing up the tree with uh, my one stick and aiders. That way I've got both hands free to mount, mount camera mounts and and mount the camera in the solar panel. So that's what I'm gonna do and uh, everything's ready, everything's scent free. I'm wearing scent lock. I, paint, I also painted my one stick camo so it matches the color of the tree bark. Doesn't matter when you're prep setting cameras but uh, I also use this for hunting. In this color, deer can't really see it because it blends in so well with the bark. But anyway, I'm gonna go set a few cameras. It's an apple tree, a little pond over there. See the cattails over here. It's got a lot of security cover. See that there's apples. And these apples will be falling well into October, possibly even early November. Just nasty stuff. This is what big bucks like. They love this. And step in here, eat a couple apples, and leave, or check for does. And, and there's my camera. And there's my solar panel. And I'm hooked to the tree. And my pouches. I stick mounted to the tree with that really cool Dynalock patented hookup design. And my double laters. Love these one sticks. I don't care what anybody says on any talk for them. <laughs> this is hands down the best stick on the market. And man, people got to realize well, when you're buying sticks for freelancing, it's a one time purchase. You're going to use the same four sticks all the time with aiders. So, yeah, these cost a little more because they're made out of titanium and they only weigh 15 ounces but it's money well spent that you'll be glad you did for the rest of your life. And Noah does these. Noah, the Amish guy, he'll sell you the sticks with the aiders already attached. At the same price you can buy them off Tether's website. Other than those aiders, obviously. And his number is 989-506-0721. Again, that's Noah. 989-506-0721 and he sells all the prep pouches he sells modified ESS's uh, rattle bags awesome rattle bags my design uh, one sticks or Skeletor sticks with aiders uh, you can send him sticks he'll put aiders on them you can send him an ESS he'll modify it or he sells the ESS already modified um, sells a lot of different stuff I've got videos on pretty much everything he does here's the camera there's the solar panel. How nasty this is in here. It's all marsh grass, cattails. Just awesome. Awesome cover all the way around here, 360 degrees. So you have to go through some water to get here. Uh, we're about eh, three eighths of a mile off of the road. You can hear the traffic. 
a great spot. And as you can tell, this is all briars. Some tall marsh grass over there, big open area of marsh grass. And there's some more cattails. See the cattails there? This is a swamp, basically, marsh, marsh grass, a lot of dead trees, cattails. Got a camera I'm on a runway. I've got a camera pointing right down to us. Okay, this is my third camera setup of the day. And I don't know how well you can see it. But right out there is some cattail, cattail marsh. There's an apple tree. Those apples drop late. And there's another apple tree. This one doesn't have a lot of apples on it. But it does have some. And I whipped the weeds. Ooh. Weeds don't trigger the camera. And two years ago there was a scrape under that autumn olive. But this is all nasty stuff. All through here. Autumn olive bushes over there. There's another little swamp over there. So it's like just a ton of security cover surrounding these two apple trees. So I have my camera set up in the tree that I'm hunting from, pointing down at that old scrape, which was right down there. And I'll send the solar panel. They're on a side branch kicking out from the tree, from the tree trunk. But again, we've got apples. Swamp down there, wet swamp. Another apple tree here. And marsh grass, cattails over here, continuation of the swamp, that goes back there at least a quarter mile, so great spot, and I'm totally clad in scent lock, and everything I've got on is scent free, including my pouches that I've washed, and my sticks and eaters.